Hello friends, this is Normal here for Technique and in this video we are going to do the detailed review of the new Moto C. So the Moto C is an entry level or budget offering from Motorola and this has been announced a week back in India and this is price 6299 and uh, this uh, is available both online as well as offline so this is the first of uh, Motorola devices to be available offline so going by the specs of this device so this phone comes uh, with a 5 inch FWVJ display it's uh, an 854 by 480 pixel uh, FWVJ display and it is powered by a MediaTek MT6737M uh, uh, quad core chipset coupled with 1 gigabyte RAM and this is coupled with 16 gigabyte storage on the camera front, it has a 5 megapixel rear camera, LED flash, a front facing 2 megapixel camera again with an LED flash and 2350 mAh battery. So going by the specification, Moto C is in the great device to buy uh, except for the software which is the latest version that's Android 7.0. So how good the Moto C is for the price segment? So let's analyze in this detailed review. So first up, let's have a look at the design and build quality. So design wise, you can see that uh, Moto C comes uh, with a uh, plastic rear panel, which is removable. And uh, the design aspect has been inspired from the new Moto G5 Plus. You can see the round uh, ring and there is a slight projection for the ring. And uh, you can also see uh, the camera unit and the LED flash integrated into the circular ring, which actually feels quite decent. And you also have this Moto logo and below you can see the speakers and uh, uh, the, uh, the matte finish finish rear panel looks actually quite good it's quite decent for a budget offering but turning on now you can see that uh, the front panel looks uh, quite uh, basic and uh, it's a kind of boring panel nothing much to choose here uh, it has three capacitive touch buttons and uh, they're not backlit and uh, uh, you also have this five inch uh, fwvj display which is again disappointing and the front facing two megapixel camera and uh, there is an led flash on the right side we have this power and volume keys on the top uh, we have this uh, charging slot and data syncing slot and also the 3.5 mm audio jack so the rear panel is removable and you have this dual sim card and uh, uh, sd card support so that was the design and build quality so it's a kind of an average design and uh, build quality looks quite decent now let's talk about the display so we have an FWVJ display 854 by 480 pixel that's kind of a display from around 2012 or 13 uh, in 2017 we don't really see an FWVJ display at a 6k price segment most of the smartphones have moved to HD displays be the Redmi 4A, Redmi 4 or the other competitive devices in this price segment they have really great displays and here we have an FWVJ display and the panel looks uh, pretty much uh, average or disappointing you can see the viewing angles are horrible the color uh, reproduction is uh, washed out and uh, doesn't look really great the touch response feels quite decent but overall the display feels definitely disappointing for the price segment so that was the display aspect now let's talk about the software so this phone runs android 7.0 and uh, this has this stock ui that's one of the good aspects about this device and you can see there aren't any apps installed by moto except for the fm radio there is not even moto app which generally uh, comes uh, built with uh, uh, the uh, the software so there are no additional apps or third party softwares included just the basic ui and you can see the notification center is also exactly the same as we find on the stock ui so the software is definitely decent it doesn't offer any additional options uh, just like uh, the moto g5 plus or the moto g5 but it's pretty basic and the latest android version now talking about the performance so this is powered by mediatek mt6737 m quad core chipset uh, which is coupled with just one gigabyte ram so for a phone price 6300 most of the smartphones have two gigabyte ram some even have three gigabyte ram so at this point uh, uh, a one gigabyte ram uh, device does definitely looks disappointing and talking about the performance of this device in day-to-day -day experience we would see uh, it was kind of an average performer uh, here and there you could see definitely some lag uh, because the ram available is uh, uh, minimal you get only around 300 mb of ram available out of the one gigabyte because 600 uh, mb is more, more or less used by the system so with the 300 mb that's a uh, pretty basic ram available uh heavy multitasking or uh, switching between apps uh, you can and see a lot of lag uh, uh, in this uh, device and talking about the gaming experience again the gaming experience was def definitely very average uh, you can't play heavy graphic rich games if you want to play you have to play in medium or low graphic settings and the gaming performance was definitely average or below average we could say 
so overall in terms of the performance the moto c definitely disappoints with a uh, one gigabyte ram uh, for a phone released in 2017 now the phone comes with dual sim card uh, micro sd card and there is also support for volte so those were the uh, performance aspect now the speaker performance is decent so don't expect really great performance out of this uh, device so it's just an average performer in almost all aspects now talking about the camera so that's again a disappointing aspect we have a 5 megapixel shooter led flash front facing uh, 2 megapixel camera with led flash now the camera interface is pretty basic you might be seeing uh, this interface it has video recording panorama and photo recording photo uh, abilities and we have uh, 720p recording that's a maximum available on this uh, device now uh, the, so here are some of the samples taken with the, the Moto C and you can see that uh, the images are pretty much basic and the clarity looks uh, pretty uh, poor. The color quality was also not that great, washed out images, the clarity is again disappointing and uh, in low light experience it was completely filled with noise. The front facing shooter was again disappointing just that it does have uh, an LED flash uh, helps in taking uh, photos in low light but again uh, the low light image captures using the front facing camera was also noisy. So the camera on the Moto C was definitely disappointing. Now the phone comes with a 2350 mAh battery and the capacity of the battery is again on the lower side when compared to the Redmi 4A which has 3000 mAh or the Redmi 4 which has 4000 mAh and the battery performance is strictly average. You might get one day of usage at the max uh, with moderate usage and if you are a heavy user uh, listening to songs or uh, uh, using uh, browsing or uh, uh, accepting a lot of calls. Uh, you might uh, just fall short of a day of usage but on an average you might get one day of usage using the 2350 mAh battery. So now we are talked about almost all aspects of this phone. So summing up, is it a really great device to buy? We would say no, you shouldn't be def going for this device. Uh, if if you are uh, looking for a phone in the 7k price segment there are much better options available so the moto c was definitely a disappointing experience with just one gigabyte ram outdated display the display panel looks uh, uh, pretty much uh, average or uh, very basic display panel uh, a quad core chipset which just didn't perform really great only good aspect was probably the offline availability and android 7.0 so uh, we wouldn't definitely recommend this device if you're really looking for a 6k price segment phone we would suggest the redmi 4 or even the redmi 4a which is far better than the moto c so that was the detailed review of the moto c hope this video was useful and this device is available offline and this is price 6299 and you can pick it from the retail stores so that's all guys thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day